What's up creatives? Today I'm going to basically show you guys how I color graded a music video and how you can color grade a music video. So what we have open here is a project that I did a few weeks ago. Um, I've already went through and actually color graded this. Uh, and I, the color grade is actually on this adjustment layer and that's typically how I, I grade. I'll put a color grade over top of the adjustment layer and I'll dial in on specific clips below it if they need to be uh, maybe brightened up or maybe the highlights need to be brought down. I'll adjust certain uh, clips as it needs to be adjusted, but overall the main color grade and um, color correction is on the adjustment layer. Now what an adjustment layer is, is it's basically a layer that you drag, you, you put over top of all your clips and you drag it across over top of everything. And whatever you put onto this layer will affect everything underneath it. So you might have 10 different performance clips underneath this adjustment layer and every one of those will be affected by anything that's on that adjustment layer, whether it be uh, sharpen, um, uh, lumetri with a LUT, any type of any type of an effect will be effect will affect all the clips underneath of an adjustment layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this with the grade that was actually on it. Now, this has already been graded and stuff with like each clip, if something needed to be brought up, the darkness or the, um, the highlights, they've been adjusted already on each clip. The main adjustment layer, I just took off. Basically how you do this is you come to new item, adjustment layer, and you don't touch any of these settings, you just click okay. So your adjustment layer will show up right here in this box, and what you do is you just drag it down, put it over top of all your clips, and drag it all the way across. Boom. Now it'll affect anything on any of the, it'll, whatever's on this adjustment layer will affect every clip below it, all these clips right here. So basically when I color grade, I find the, the scene that I like the best, or I feel like I could put the best color on and I color grade to that and I adjust everything else uh, accordingly. So basically what I usually do when color grading, I look for Lumetri. Uh, over here in the um, effects tab and here it is and you just drag it up here this is um, the effects controls for this adjustment layer now and then you can come here to color and make this a little bigger so you can see your clip good now this is all personal preference you can color grade however you like I'm just going to show you guys how I do it what I would do to this clip and how I would adjust it to the other layers. So first of all, I would come here into basic correction. I would start off with the contrast. Uh, I think I want to give it some contrast. Now this was shot flat, uh, center like D on the GH5 as well. So I think, you know, some contrast like that. Maybe bring the highlights down a little bit. Boost the whites jump up the shadows a little bit and bring down the blacks. Bring down those blacks, give it a contrasty look. Yeah, I like that right there. And then the temperature, mm. uh, For this, let's, let's do a little warmer. It's cool right there, I think. That's cool, 6.7. Maybe even bring the highlights down a little bit more. And you know what, I'll take the exposure to 0.1. So then I'll come to creative and you can add faded film to make it super flat looking after you contrasted it or you can keep it contrasted or you can add a little bit. Me personally on this, I'm gonna add about 20 onto it. I think it looks cool. I'm definitely going to add some sharpen because I shoot with my sharpness down. So I'm going to go ahead and I usually do it to about 15 on the sharpening. And me, I like to have a like a lower saturated but still colored look. So I'll take down the vibrance and then boost up the saturation a little bit. So I'm going to take the uh, vibrance to negative 30 and 120 on the satch. Now, as you can see, if you come here and click this eyeball for your adjustment layer, you can see the difference in the clip already, the grade that we're starting. And it's not too crazy different, but you can definitely tell the difference. It looks a lot better. And I might even bring down the set. The, I'm going to bring the vibrance to negative 40, actually, and do 130 on the saturation. Now, let's look at the difference. 
Yeah, I like that. Alright, cool. So then I come into the curves and I mess with the colors a little bit right here on the hue saturation. You just I click all these right here and let's see. I want to take down the pink a little bit on the shirts and the blue because I don't like these all these different colors clashing right here. So I'm gonna bring down the pinks and the blues a little bit. That baby blue right there, bring that down a little bit. Let's see, I like a low satch, low satch, low satch. Uh, I'm not a fan of the green too much. So I'm gonna bring down the green some. You don't want to take too much because I know other scenes got green in it in the uh, video. So then we come to the color wheel, and if we want to add like some color into the darks, the shadows, or maybe the midtones, I if I do midtones ever, I usually put, put it into the um, orange or red just because it makes anybody's skin tone pop a little bit. Everybody has like a reddish, orangish, pinkish tone. So um, I'll bring that up a little bit. But I'm gonna pop the midtones. Midtones are where the skin is. Um, I don't ever mess with the highlights. I like the highlights to be regular, natural white. I don't like the highlights to be making uh, turn into different colors and stuff. Sometimes in the shadows, I'll add like some blues. So I add a little blue right there, and that's cool. And now here we have the HSL secondary. Now, if I want to change a color a little bit, <clears throat> or maybe take the saturation out of it a little bit, you can do that here. Uh, red, yellow, green, aqua, blue, uh, pinkish, purple, and what is this white? White. Yeah. All right. So with this, I'm gonna say let's do the green and make it a little yellowish. And I think we're good here. And in the vignette, you could even add a vignette a little bit. Just to kind of give it that feel. Negative one, you can put your feather up so it's soft. Usually about 70. Now this isn't required, you don't have to have this. This is just an extra feature. I'm gonna actually add it here just cause I kind of like it. And I'm gonna come back to the basic correction. I wanna actually add a little contrast. Let me put those highlights back up a little bit boost the whites now let's look at the difference it's definitely a cool difference to it now I really like that actually so I'm gonna come back here to edit in that's basically my grade that's basically how I grade so now that I have my grade I'm gonna scroll through now it looks kind of now see shots right here they're kind of like the blacks are kind of messed up in there so what I would do and now that I have my main color I would just come into these extra clips add a lumetri to this actual clip and I would go to the basic correction and maybe bring up the blacks a little bit let's say 10 uh, 15 and then maybe the exposure when the exposure controls the actual overall highlights dark shadows everything in the whole clip it can bring it all up or all down so I'm gonna say let's throw a one I mean a point two maybe a point three now let's look at the difference there it's a little better I like it a little better so what I would do is command C which is copy and whatever other I would go through the whole video and any other clips from this exact scene like right here Command V. I would cop. I would paste that actual little lumetri that I added to it, just so that whole clip has it. Or if you want to just add it to this whole clip in general, where wherever it is on your timeline, you can actually click here, and then up here you would typically post it right here. So I'm gonna take it off right there, and then you can click master and paste it on the master. So when you post it on the master clip. It will go on this whole clip no matter where it is in the timeline so say there was some right here and then right here you don't got to go through and actually paste it on each one of them you can just post it one time on the master and it'll automatically go to every piece of this actual video clip within the timeline so that's pretty cool so then go through check the other clips 
this clip uh the blacks look weird in here too let's see if i can paste that same thing on here and see how it looks a little better it's kind of got some grain going on and let's see let's zoom in a little bit and look at it oh yeah man it's not too good oh but i think it's because there's already yeah there's all there was already um from the previous um color grade there was already an effect on it so i took that off and added the one that i just made and let's see how that looks So, eh, looks a little better. Let's see. Got some contrast 20. I'll boost those, um, let's boost the shadows up a little bit. Let's say 15. Nah, that's not bad right there. That's better. See, it was too dark, too contrasted. The darks were way too messed up. So, I kind of brought up the uh, contrast. I, I put some contrast on it and I brought up the shadows and blacks. And the exposure, of course, was at 0.3 from the previous clip up here. So now that's good. And um, like I said, you would just copy that, delete it, and go to the master clip and paste it. Now it'll be on every part of this clip, wherever it is in the timeline. So let's say I'm done. Um, all the clips look good. I got my main color on the adjustment layer. I've adjusted all these clips um, accordingly to match now what i have is a full color grade so that's how i color grade that's just a simple rundown um you know it all determines on what you shot what music video you shot where you shot it at indoor outdoor sunny cloudy day it will range differently on every you know scenario i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys this let that i created right here for free on the main uh clip so this actual LUT, I'm gonna give it to you guys for free. So make sure you check for that down in the description. If this helped you, if you liked it, like this video, share it for other people to see, and subscribe to the channel for more color grading tutorials and music video effects tutorials and any type of tutorials dealing with music videos or video in general because I'll be bringing a lot more to the channel. Thanks guys, see you guys next time. Peace.